Rishabh Field here, sitting where we started to uh, bring this series to a close. Now, I went to a website called galacticfigures.com, and they had every single cantina patron that has had a figure made of them in a list, and all the different variants and versions over the years. And they had, by my count, 32 um, characters or subjects that you could do a video about. Now that's counting the entire Cantina band as one, 32. But I didn't have 32 episodes. And I thought, what, who did I miss? I, who, what? And I really thought about it. We talked about Wyoslia, uh, which is so obscure. Uh, but I looked through the list and who they had that I didn't have was Garandan. Uh, A.K.A. Long Snoot. That's what they called him uh, on the Elstree shoot. And he is the, the trunked guy with goggles outside the cantina with the comlink that tells the stormtroopers that uh, they've gone to docking May 94 with the Millennium Falcon. And I've seen Star Wars a bunch of times and I've never noticed Garandan in there. But clearly these guys have done us a service by getting pictures of all of the characters and they had him on there. And so I'm going to talk briefly about him. He has been made twice. First was in 1997 in The Power of the Force 2. Kenner never made him. And he... Is he important? Well, he's a hell of a lot more important than Pruneface was and Kenner made a Pruneface. But Kenner never made this figure. It wasn't until 97 that Hasbro made him. And uh, that figure is pretty valueless. It is, uh, what does that say? $9.99 free shipping, $9 free shipping. If you look at the one under there, $5.40 plus $5 free shipping. So all of those are under $10. Um, and yeah, I've seen this figure a bunch of times and never felt the need to get it. Partly because I was under the impression he was not in the cantina. Uh, but nine years later, in 2006, they did put him out in the Saga collection again. But this time he was more articulated and he had a soft goods cloak and hood. And that came with a little stand. All of the figures in that wave came with a little stand. And if you look, $15.99 free shipping. And under that $24.99 free shipping... $23 plus $7 shipping in the package. <laughs> ah, shoot. Sorry. Wish there was a way to edit these. Big. But um, I guess if, if you're going to get one, that's the one to get. That, uh, that Saga Collection version. And uh, what, listen, do me a favor. If you know Star Wars better than I do, and it's possible that you do. And you know that Garandin was actually in the cantina. Would you put a comment down below and let me know? And the next time I see this guy, I will pick him up to put in mine. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's it. That's, that's the series. That's, that is my videos. I've already done a final one, which I guess will air tomorrow. Uh, but... It's made me a little bit less awkward. Well, I, I mean, obviously I'm still awkward, but a little bit less self-conscious doing these videos. And it was fun. After the first couple, it was fun. And uh, there have been mishaps and uh, times when the camera shut off or fell over or uh, I lost the light or I screwed up or I sneezed just now. And yet it was a good time. I hope that you enjoyed it, and um, I hope that you enjoy life. It, it can be hard, but find things that bring you joy, even if it's just a little bit. And uh, it makes the burden lesser. I've been Rich Outfield. Good night.